Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator, great to have you with us tonight. Uh, a colleague of yours on the other side in the Senate, John Hoven from North Dakota, where all the oil is being pumped out of the ground, said that there will be over 60 supporters for a standalone piece of legislation on Keystone. And uh, that's going to be one of their first orders of business in the Senate. How can Democrats fight this? And what's your reaction to that news? Well, I think uh, if you listen to what the scientific community is saying overwhelmingly, is that climate change is real. It is caused by human activity. It is already causing devastating problems. So my response to Senator Hoven is, listen to the scientific community. We have got to, as a nation, lead the world in transforming our energy system away from fossil fuel and into energy efficiency and sustainable energy. Frankly, we will look like fools throughout the entire global economy if we are advocating more and more dirty oil at the same time as we're talking about the need to combat global warming. So we have got to defeat this Keystone pipeline. We've got to rally the American people to do it. And we've got to get President Obama to be strong on this issue. Well, speaking of the president, he was asked about it yesterday after Mitch McConnell's press conference. Here's what he had to say about the Keystone XL at his press conference. Our energy sector is booming, and I'm happy to engage Republicans with additional ideas for how we can enhance that. And so Keystone I just consider as one small aspect of a broader trend that's really positive for the American people. He gave a much lengthier answer than that. That's just a snippet of it. But your reaction to his position, the way it sounds right now, Senator? Look, my reaction is pretty simple. When people tell you that Keystone is a jobs program, they're not telling you the truth. According to the State Department, it will create about 2,000 jobs, construction jobs, over a two-year period, and then about 50 permanent jobs. If you want a jobs program, let's rebuild our crumbling infrastructure, invest a trillion dollars in doing that, and create 13 million jobs, not 2,000 jobs. So I think the answer to our energy crisis is Respect what the scientists are saying. Transform our energy system. Start putting billions into energy efficiency and into weatherization and move aggressively in wind, solar, geothermal and biomass. Are you confident, Senator, that the Democrats can turn the tide on Keystone? I mean, they are bound to determine to have this built. It is Canadian oil. It's toxic. It has to be refined in a special refinery. It's not going to bring our gas prices down. It's going to be thrown out on the world market. And it's a big risk coming through the middle of the country over our aquifer. There's, ver as I see it, very little upside. Okay, you're going you're gonna to move. You're going to move oil either by train or by truck. But by pipeline, there's accidents everywhere. It's a big risk to us. Do you think the Democrats can stop it? Well, I certainly hope so. And we're going to need the American people on our side to move aggressively in getting the Congress to say no to this disastrous uh, idea. Uh, you made a good point, Ed, is that this oil, a significant part of this oil, is going to be exported to Asia. In fact, there are at least three separate studies, including one at Cornell, which suggests that because of the infrastructure, refinery infrastructure, domestic prices will actually go up. So here we are doing something which will exacerbate climate change, will create a minimal amount of jobs, will enrich the companies that own the oil fields and who do the refinery, do, do the refining, and at the same time raise gas prices in the United States. This does not make a lot of sense to me. Senator, finally, uh, the results that came in on Tuesday night, does that bring you any closer to a decision or warm your heart more about a Bernie Sanders at the White House, a run at the nomination and a run at the White House? Does it change your thinking or enhance it in any way? Well, there's nothing about Tuesday night that warmed my heart. And that was a disastrous night. Uh, you know, we are reaching out all over the country to try to ascertain what kind of support there is for a campaign that takes on the enormously powerful billionaire class. I mean, we're not just talking about the Koch brothers, you're talking about Wall Street and the oil companies and all of these guys. 
Can we, in fact, take them on through a strong grassroots movement? And I'm just talking to people all over the country to kind of figure out what kind of support there is there for that type of campaign. Senator Bernie Sanders, good to have you with us tonight. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Coming up, the Clinton team is already talking.